No time for delays, Mr. Brook. It's often that the professional thief finds himself running for his life. Not like this. Careful with my diamonds. Damn. Which way? To your left, Mr. Rook. I would suggest haste. I have a chance. Just give me more time. Oh, I'm sorry. You know the deal. The diamonds are delivered to me by the proper time, while the color goes boom, tick tock, tick tock. Now, how does one man get into such a mess? A woman. So they say that you're the greatest jewel thief in the world. Maybe we can play. First, there's a test. Morning, Mr. Rook. We have business to discuss. You have six hours to steal the Luther Diamond Collection and deliver them to a location that I will disclose at the appropriate time. Hey, Skip, I need your black belt. Hell you do! Yeah. Bring it, bitch! <laughs> You're kidding, right? Aww. Hey, listen. I don't have time for you. Make time! Yeah. Sorry, kid. Here, turn off the collar. Give the diamonds to my associate. Turn off the bomb! When my associate has the backpack. Turn it off or she dies too. This really isn't necessary, Mr. Rook. I have what I need. Give her the backpack. Please do what he says. Turn it off now! Drop the pack. What about the diamonds? Care about them? You turn off this collar, these diamonds will scatter all over the city. Make sure he gets this. Oh. I might start looking for him. Loyalty is a rare commodity in this profession, which is why it's more valuable than diamonds. Morning, Mr. Rook. We have business to discuss. You have six hours to steal the Luther Diamond Collection and deliver them to a location that I will disclose at the appropriate time. Gems will rarely save your ass in a situation like this. But a loyal friend will. That's good, boss. Take the switch room work. They took it. Excellent. I've already entered the number for you. Okay.
What the hell? 